in this video we learn how to compute materials we'll start with earthworks materials and material computations can be done at the analyze tab here at the volumes and materials we have icons here for computing materials we can compute materials we can create muscle diagrams earthwork plant production for now we are focusing on materials and if you go to the settings tab of the tool space you can see a quantity takeoff and here under the quantity takeoff there's a section for quantity takeoff criteria if i expand that there are various quantity takeoff criteria there's cut and fill there's earthwork let's look at earthworks that's what i want to do this is the criteria let's expand it so there's a base surface and there's a comparison surface the base surface is an existing ground surface and this other surface is a datum surface remember we do have an existing ground surface and we also created a datum surface for a corridor so what happens here when you're computing the earthworks is that we compare we compare the let's look for for a cut condition where I don't think we'll have one but what we are doing is that we're comparing the existing surface with the datum surface the surface underneath the corridor and then civil 3d compares the two surfaces the existing surface and that datum surface and then computes the earthworks that were done either fields or cuts that were done so how to compute materials we go to compute materials we are prompted to select an alignment and a s sample line group we click ok and here we want to do an earthworks computation here i select earthworks and i'm prompted to select an existing ground surface topo surface is the existing ground surface and before we even select let me select a volume calculation method the composite volume method is, is good because it compares the the two sheets of surfaces the top surface and the datum surface here we do not see the datum surface this is because it is not sampled under the sample lines so we first of all go to the sample line we create we click on one and at the contextual tab we'll see two we, we can sample more sources so click on sample more sources select the datum corridor i think this is the one and add it to this side yeah this is the datum and you can even change its style put it to standard click ok now we've sampled the datum surface now we can do a comparison between the existing ground surface and that surface in order to get our our earthworks how to do that again we go back to compute materials here at the analyze tab volumes and materials we go to compute materials click on that select an alignment that alignment is okay and the sample line group is also okay and here we select earthworks we pick our volume calculation method as composite volume existing ground is the top of surface and the datum surface is the corridor datum and once we are done we click ok and the computations have, be, have been done now let's generate that report the volume report again an alignment we pick the alignment rd1 select sample line group rd that sl collection one and then we don't want an xml report here we go pick the format for our report and once everything is set up we click ok to generate the report and there we do have our volume report 
and we can see how the cuts are happening the reusable materials the fields cumulative cut cumulative fill and the cumulative net between the fill and the and the cuts and you can control a copy this report and take it to excel and paste it